Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll try to be a little creative. We'll try to make it really fun and uh, we'll try to use uh, image manipulation techniques using Photoshop and uh, we'll see how it really goes. We'll try creating up a, a war field kind of thing with a spears full dragon along with a soldier. We'll try creating an effect like that and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to take up different images. You could see the collage of images here. I'll try taking up a house, a fierce full dragon, a warrior along with some fiery effects and try to collage them together and try making up an effect using Photoshop. So without further delay, let's get started. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to download all of these images from uh, copyright free stock images. So uh, I've got, I'm downloading few clouds as well as uh, some more stock images. You can download them from pixels i'll leave the link below and uh, i'm just trying to color correct them i'm adjusting with the uh, hue saturation of them to make them look really fierceful really dark and uh, reddish so that it looks like a war field i'm trying creating them and i'll try adjusting the uh, color saturation of that as well so i'll create multiple copies of this cloud area and uh, i'm trying to collage that with the mountainous area more like your uh, lord of the rings theme i'm trying to create a, i'm trying to almost create an uh, effect like a smog so I'm trying to make up something like that. So I'll take up these um, the Lost Mountain scene which we saw in uh, Lord of the Rings and I'll try to create up uh, those mountainous fields here. And the clouds which I created earlier, I'm just uh, trying to delete these with the help of a brush tool. And uh, I'll try to replace that with the clouds which we made earlier, the one darker version which we did. And I'm trying to bring up an image of a dragon and I'll just uh, resize it for uh, the visual view for now and I'll delete these sections below it so that it looks uh, really um, synced with your scene. So brush tool is like the effective use of that uh, is what is needed in this uh, section or in this part of the video. So try to be like as precise as possible. Try to uh, resize your brush tool and try to uh, clear up all those intricate corners. So those intricate corners once you clear them off uh, you get up into a scene like this where uh, your background is still in black and white and this uh, dragon is like really reddish. So I'm going to make them color corrected or I'm going to be make them adjusted with my uh, scene. So I'll try to delete up uh, those extra fire from the uh, dragon's mouth. I'll try replicating the scene or I'll try to extend this fire. So what I'll do is I'll copy that and I'll flip it across and I'm just trying to extend it a little bit further. But I'm going to add this soldier. So I'll use the brush tool to remove all the unwanted parts and um, I'm trying to bring a small house to make it look really nice or like impressive as if like there's a house which is existing there in the screen and uh, I'm just trying to add a small house there. I'll again use the brush tool here as well. I'll remove all the unwanted uh, sections. You can try playing with the blending options. You can see which version is like, really syncing with your background and uh, I'm just trying to use the brush tool here. I'll delete all the unwanted sections. So this is a fun and creative way. You can try experimenting these with your kids. Uh, you can like whoever is like learning Photoshop, you can give it to them and uh, They'll give it as a good good go or like you can uh, make them also like uh, practice up a little bit of uh, bro Photoshop uh, brush tool usage and stuff. I delete all the unwanted sections in this. It looks more as if like this uh, house as a part of this uh, particular uh, stage itself or the scene itself. I'll try to bring a lot of uh, stock images which are related to fire. You can get a lot of images like this from online. I'm just trying to experiment with a few. So um, I'll just try to replace this image. Again, play with your blending options on the layers. Make it like really scary and dark one so that it looks like really nice. You can play with the positioning of it so that it looks like really a, a battlefield with this like totally devastated and fired by the uh, uh, fury of your uh, whatever uh, dragon or your smog, whatever you call it as. And I'm just trying to um, change the intensity of it. I'll try to flip it across. I'll try to make an effect like as if those are like uh, your... Um, the uh, fire uh, particles which are like uh, floating up. Try playing up with their positioning of it so that it looks really uh, cool. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I'll try bringing up, um, remove the unwanted sections of this. I'll first remove the unwanted areas with the help of your brush tool so that it looks like really nice. I'll try bringing a warrior into the screen. So there's a black and white image which I brought and I'll try to uh, scale it up to match my scene requirements and uh, use the brush tool again and uh, remove all the unwanted stuff. I'm again using the blending options. You take the option as a uh, difference or you can take the option as uh, try experimenting different uh, scenes. So now I'm going to take the final version as lighten and again use the brush tool and delete all the unwanted sections. So when you're using the brush tool, try using the option of uh, a feather on the brush, make it as like a, a smooth edged brush so that you get those blur effect. 
So to get this guy out of the screen, I'm using the pen tool again here. I'm try trying to cut them precisely. I'll uh, remove all the unwanted uh, effects around him. So I'll uh, use the pen tool and uh, take the uh, smaller uh, cuts around him and delete the unwanted uh, glow around him because I'm going to give an effect like a small uh, a fiery uh, reflection around him. So I'll delete all of these sections. I'll go to the blending options of the layer. Use the brush stroke and remove the unwanted uh, sections of this. Again, I'll choose the option of um, blending options on this soldier and I'll try giving him an option of uh, outer glow. So this outer glow will give me an option of uh, a fiery effect on him. Now he's like, it looks as if like he's like cut and pasted into the scene. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create up a small uh, fiery effect around him. Take the outer glow option, try playing with the colors of this. I'm changing the color as orange here so that it looks more like uh, there's like a really a far field, uh, like a uh, war field around him and there is like fire all, all around him. So I'm trying to really uh, remove all the unwanted uh, glow or the fire around him with the help of the brush tool here. And um, try changing up the positioning of it so that it looks like a really uh, um, as if like he's exactly into the scene. And try changing up the position of your uh, dragon as well so that uh, it looks uh, like this dragon is like charging at him and uh, he is defending him against that. So try changing the size of that. I'm scaling him as well a little bit so that it looks like really synced. Remove all the unwanted glows. Try to make it like as darker as possible so that it looks like really a dark night with a fire thing happening. I'm adding up a small um, a nocturnal birds as well in this. You could see here I'm using a brush stroke here. You can, I'll leave the link to this brush as well. You can try experimenting them so that it looks like a really uh, cool uh, war field. And uh, that it, there you go. That's your uh, fully functional or your completed um, image manipulation using Photoshop and where we have brought up different images and put them across the stage and uh, made it look really funky. So if you like this video, do share it with all your uh, kids and people around and so they get to explore more of Photoshop. And uh, if you like, want me to make uh, more such contents like this, uh, do subscribe to the channel and uh, do leave your comments as well. Thanks for watching.